Hello, I'm Art Brooks and welcome to my channel. Today is the 4th of July here in Columbus, New Mexico. That is the annual Smoke on Water uh, fireworks uh, display here at, uh, here at Green Acres Lake in Columbus. Being at a lake, that's why it's being called Smoke on Water after the uh, Deep Purple song, Smoke on Water, which goes, uh, Smoke on water, fire in the sky. So many people here are gathering, uh, you know, picnicking. There's also a car show with a lot of police presence. Well, we'll continue on to see what else is showing. Just across the street is the uh, Taco Box here in Clovis, which uh, the owner, uh, Tom Martin, has organized the uh, Smoke on Water event. This year marks the 20th anniversary. So there'll be much. Uh, much celebration, many people will be out here, parking will be tied. But let's, go, let's get closer to the Taco Box and see the decorations on it. Yeah, early this year, the, the, they repainted the outside of the uh, restaurant, which all this uh, you know, cactus and uh, palm trees, making it very interesting looking, with a turquoise background. So much work being done to paint all this. Yeah. A lot of painting talent, and across from the uh, parking lot is the uh, mural. Move over here and get a better view of it. Yeah, this, uh, this mural has the, uh, <clears throat> it seems mostly from 1969, the year that Taco Box was first uh, built and, and operated. Much smaller than they later on they added on more to the building. The building is larger than that, so that was done well over about about 30 years ago. So let's continue on and see the car show. Here we have some classic cars, we'll get up closer and take a view of them. Here we have a Chevy Camaro SS and close by a dog with a with muffins on shoes on his feet. Take a front look at the same car. Yeah, very nice looking, yeah. Here's like something from the uh, 50s. Let's see what it is. This looks like a late 50s uh, Chevy. I'm not sure if it's a 57 Chevy. Get a little closer look. Look at the engine. Take a look at the interior. Here's the Pontiac Turbo Trans Am. License plate Bandit. Take a look at the front of this guy. The picture being in California and driving on the beach along the beach with this car. Turbo 4.9, I guess that's the size of the engine. Take a look at the interior. Yeah, very nice for its age. This is a Dodge uh, Challenger. Can't tell what year it is. Windows, windows are rolled up so we can't see the interior much. This is a large size, a Ford pickup, probably from the uh, 80s. Not sure. See, this is a uh, oh, 1975 uh, Ford F-250. Take a look at the engine. Yeah, very massive engine. This is a Mercedes uh, S uh, L uh, 560. Yeah, that's what the uh, X is. Additional photos the owner has put on the uh, windshield. This is a Porsche sports car. Can't tell what year it is. Take a look at the engine on it. Very sporty. 
This is a uh, Nissan Figaro. That's what that means. Convertible, which we'll take a look at the interior. Considering we all know on the opposite side, I guess it's made for uh, people who drive in England when they drive on the opposite side. Here it has a uh, decoration basket on the back. Flags, the uh, red and white blue flowers. The banner. Very patriotic. This is a 1983 Chevy, uh, Chevy C10. Take a look at the engine. Very clean and well kept looking. This is a 1965 Chevy Impala. Look at the engine. Very clean and very new looking like it just came out of the factory. Windows are open, we can take a look at the inside. Very well kept. This is a uh, 51 Ford. Can't tell what model it is. We'll take a look at the inside of it. I can bring back a lot of old memories. This is a 1999 Honda Civic. Very interesting looking engine. Even won some awards. Look at the inside of it. You can look at the trunk of it. Then got a speaker system in back here. Uh, this is a 2007 Audi. The engine. Uh, this is a, uh, uh, a 1981 Chevy Corvette. Looks like a 1929 Roadster. Take a close look at the engine. And the front emblems. Looks like an Eagle emblem. It's a Route 66 emblem. The inside of it. And of course the back end of it. This is a 1964 Chevy Impala. Look at the engine. Very clean, very new shape for its age. Quick look at the inside. This is a 1961 Chevy Impala. Look at the engine. Get the inside. Very nice. Very well, real well restored for its age. This is a 1956 Metro Nash. The uh, engine. Look at the inside. The second, it's the the back we have looks like a wind up wind up uh, mechanism decoration. This is a late 50 Chevy. Get closer and look at the engine. Well restored like it's new. That factory fresh new. Look at the inside of it. Nice pretty red. This is a 1950 Dodge. On top, it's got like mean looking eyes on top. Looks like it's mean means business, but it's made sure it's on. Take a quick look at the engine. And look at the interior. And the back of the uh, pickup. You 
wood frame. Very nice and well restored for its age. Here's a 1965 Volkswagen Beetle. It's got those uh, spikes on the uh, hood. Just typical punk rock look. Take a look at the interior. And a look at the engine. When these cars, the engines were in the back. Nice well restored for its age. Here's the uh, 19, what, 1971 Super um, Beetle, Volkswagen Beetle. Take a look at the interior. And take a quick look at the engine. Yeah. Nice restored. This is a 55 Chevy Bel Air, which looks like it's been converted into a monster truck. Real elevated. I guess it even has hydraulics. I guess we could have it bounce up and down, like typical of low, low rider cars. Quick look at the engine. This is a 65 Ford Mustang. Take a look at the engine. Look through the interior. And look at the trunk. Nice and well restored for its age. This is a Jeep Wrangler uh, uh, limited edition. Badland. A Badland winch on the cook front. Looks they even have a large flag on the back. Take a look at the side of it. Have a lot of fun, going, especially going out on a beach with this. There's this large flag mounted by the uh, spear or tire. That's it for the car show. We've been through uh, the ones I want to show. So, on the street, has the Red Air Bingo Entertainment and Gaming uh, Facility. Quick scan of the uh, classic car show with all the cars displayed here. Okay, that's it for the daytime part of this festivity. Then at around 9 o'clock tonight will be the fireworks show. And I'll be uh, taking up some brief uh, samples of that for you to see next. Okay, right now the smoke on water fireworks at Green Acre Lake have already started. So. Yeah. Yeah. Smoke on water and fire in the sky. At the same time, you can also hear uh, personal fireworks in the neighborhood. So, at least I want to show examples, just, just samples of the fireworks you will see there. And we'll usually see every year. It's continuing on, and uh, very shortly, uh, it's going to be 9.15. That's when the uh, grand finale uh, show begins. It ends the show, so keep watching to see that. This must be the grand finale, so many, so many going up all at the same time. Very colorful. Well done. like it's over with so it was a great show and I hope you enjoy viewing it as much as I enjoyed uh, being there and recording it so again happy 4th of July and thanks for watching